here is the pattern we're gonna work on today. So before we start learning this pattern, I need to teach you what does mean all the symbols I will be using in that exercise. First of all, know that red is right and blue is left. It means that whenever you see something in red, you have to do something with your right hand. Same if it's in blue, you have to do something with your left hand. I will be given a number for each finger as you can see here. One, two, three, four and five. Below the drawing, you will see different numbers. I call that the sequence. So we will have to work on our sequence with the right fingers. For example, here, one, one, three, one, three, one, one, three. It's gonna be our movement, our sequence. You will also see these two symbols. It is just a note. Whenever it's a red note, it is a note you have to play with your right hand. And whenever it's a blue note, it is a note you have to do with your left hand. Since there are no more information, it is really random. I mean, you can pick up whichever note you want. Because you will see in some of my exercises, I'm giving some informations like going up, going down, doing a chord. Let's get started with learning this sequence, this movement with our fingers. Number one and number three. Are you ready? We're going to read that really slowly. We start from the left, so I'm going to count three and four and go. Three, one, three, one, one, three. With me, one, one, three, one, three, one, one, three. In my lessons, do not hesitate just to click on pause and to work on that if I'm ever going too fast. We try to speed a little bit. Three and four and one, one, three, one, three, one, one, three, again. Three and four and one, one, three, one, three, one, one, three. Try to count just the number of your fingers. One, one, three, one, three, one, one, three. At home, you can just set up a metronome and work uh, with different speeds. Okay, now we're gonna look at this line at the bottom of the video. So it means that we have to do that sequence with our notes. And here comes the chords. We're gonna start with the first chord. Let's call it number A. We would need to do how many notes? Three. One for this thumb, one for this one, and another note for this finger. So let's find a chord with three notes. Know that if you've never heard about chords, a chord, it is just when we hit two or more notes together. So you don't have any musical theory background. No worries. Let's find a chord with our ears. Let's try another one. Do you like it? I like it. A third one. Oh, maybe it's too far here. It. it could have been okay so let's call this first chord number a I'm gonna put I'm gonna apply my sequence with my chord three 
and four and one, one, three, one, three, one, one, three. I consider that you already master the sequence with that speed. So you can of course count one one three one three one one three, but it would be nice also to count the time. You can see the time one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So let's try to count the time. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. And if you have a hard time to do both, just master the movement and then you will add the counting. So let's read that line together without counting. Are you ready? Three and four and one. We're done. Now let's find another chord, number B. Logic seems to be logic, and that one maybe okay. I have to bend a little bit my body. I have my three other notes here number B, two times A, two times B, three and four and one and two and three and four and second time, two and three. Get ready right here. Try to count one and two and three and four and one. We're going to speed up a little bit. One and two and three and four and. have to anticipate the transitions. I mean, when you're on B, for example, at the end of the B, think about A and straight you go down to A. You will see in my handpan training program, uh, I'm doing, I'm showing a lot of different variations so that you can start to compose, to organize your playing and to flourish your playing, to put some spice, to put some little stuff that you like. Here is just an example. What if we just change that very last note? We would have Same on number B. That could be nice. Just to add a little thing, you can start with your pattern A and B normal. And then you add it. Isn't it nice? We, we put some different layers. We start slowly with that little, uh, little movement on the A, on the B, and then we add another note. With me, let's do A and B with that variation. Three and four and one. 